Hello and welcome to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Dominic Norton, aka Mr. Hackathon, and I show you how to build software without coding. The interesting thing about today is that we are going to do something a little bit more technical than we usually do. We are going to be getting an introduction to vector databases. If you've been on my channel within the last couple of months, you've seen an influx of AI related content and how to make different types of AI applications. This channel specializes in no code and low code. And to really extend the functionality of some of your AI applications, you're going to have to use a vector database. A vector database allows you to do semantic search, question and answer applications in a way that normally in previous tutorials you can't do. There's a limitation in the tokens you can send to OpenAI or any cloud API service and what you can receive back from. And so what you might do is store data or information in this vector database. And what it does, it translates the words into kind of um, a position in the database. And when you send a query, it gets the closest position. When you ask for an answer, it gets the closest position and brings you back the closest record. So it's just a way to be able to search more information faster. And to do this, we're going to use Pinecone. We are going to first be getting an introduction to the Pinecone console. So we're not going to build this in an application quite yet. I'm just going to walk you through the console, walk you through an index, walk you through different components of Pinecone and vector databases. To get started, you're going to want to make a free account. I have already set up my account. Here you can see a previous namespace, but what I'm going to do is, if I just put this somewhere, so I have this here. We're going to go ahead and create an index. So when you log in, you're going to see something like this. You're going to go and create, hit create index. You're going to name it, let's just say pinecone, it's going to be lowercase, let's say pinecone index. And now you want to put dimensions. I put too few dimensions on my first project, but you probably want to put something between maybe 36 and 256, so, or 34 and 256, so. You can do like 256, you want to leave this at co cosine and put S1. And index is just a place to store your vectors. It's almost like a database. And that's it. And then you're going to hit create index. Once you hit create index, it's going to take some time and create your index. I'm going to go on this hello world that I previously have. And so what you have here, and you can see I have too few dimensions, but what, what you have here is your index database or your index in the Pinecone console. You can see some info. You can see how many vectors I have. You can see a namespace I have. You can see curl commands. If I, I actually have Postman open, if I want to make requests, you can see metrics. And so we're gonna see, you can see some metrics on usage of that index and queries and up, sir, and we're going to go over this. What you have here is different uh, methods. And we have up, sir, which is just inserting data into your index. And I'm going to show you what this that looks like in a little bit. You have query, which is getting information from your uh, vector database. You have update, which is updating information in your vector uh, database. And, and fetch, fetch is get in information from your database, but specifically what vectors are where, like information about the vectors. Query is more answering information. And obviously delete, which is deleting vectors and deleting things in your database. I've downloaded the example and this is what the example looks like. And in this example, 
what you can see is we have embeddings. So the position of this particular item in the index, and that has been established by a tool like OpenAI. So if I just go back and show you, you would have to use another service to create embeddings. And this is a me measure of the relatedness of text strings. So basically it just, it gives it a vector of floating point numbers. I'm not going to go into detail of this because I want to really focus on the Python console and I don't want to make this a very long tutorial, but you can see we have metadata, which is a category. We also have colors here attached to this. If you think about um, YouTube, this could be a title and it, it can also be a description added to this too. If we jump back to the Python console, all you have to do is upload this. And I'm just going to make sure I have my updated file here because I have made some changes to this. We are going to do that. You can see here, and we'll just click that. It's successful, but you can also see the curl command here. So if I go back, so you can see what the curl command would actually look like if we was doing it from Postman or we was doing it from our own application. So with that file we just uploaded, this is what the curl command would actually look like. What we're going to do now is query. And I also did download a query example. So if I go ahead and open a query example, if I can find it. So example query one. And this is an example of a query. You can see it's including the metadata. We can see it, it, query, it tells, it says that is that namespace that we need to get it from. If we go back and we scroll all the way down, you can see the namespace here when we uploaded our data. In the query, you can see the namespace again. Here, there's actually a filter. So it's only going to filter for items that says the color's pink. So here you can see colors, yellow, green, red. Here you can see pink, green, blue. So when you have this filter here, it's going to filter only the ones where the color's pink. So if we actually go back and we're going to query, so we're just going to upload this file. And this, again, this is just to show you an example of the Pinecon console, how to use the Pinecon console. Later on, we're going to build and show you actually how to do the API requests um, from outside the Pinecon console. Then we're going to show you how to put this in the actual application. And we're also going to show like the entire workflow of creating or using embeddings and the entire workflow of an application that would use a vector database. So if we hit query, you can actually see that it's finding matches here in matches. And we can see the first one, the one that matches or is the most relevant is item nine. But if we actually go to metadata, and go to colors, you'll see pink there. We open the next one. Item second, seven is the second most uh, relevant, whereas category equals music. You can see pink again. So it's filtering for, it's finding the best item, but it's filtering for the items where color is pink. Next, we have update. Or maybe I will do fetch next. So here you are fetching, you are fetching data from the database. So for example, if I do that, and let's just say I want item zero and item one. Those are the items I want. And I want that from example namespace. And if I show you the curl command, it's just a get method. You can see it there. 
And if I hit fetch, you can see it's bringing back item one. We can see what item one is, music. And if I actually go back to what I inserted, item one's music, you can see that's correct. So we're gonna go back. And what you can also see, item zero, we go to metadata sports, and the colors are blue, red, green. If we go back, sports, blue, red, green. So we've done that. So now we know how to insert data, we know how to query data, we know how to fetch data. What I'm also going to do is update data. Now to update information, we're going to go to the JSON editor. And what I'm going to do is edit this and edit the first item, which is the ID for the first items, item zero. What I'm going to edit is the category. So previously you saw the category sports, but we're going to change the category to animals. And we're going to add the namespace, and this is example underscore namespace. And I'm going to hit update. You can see update successful. When we go here, we're going to type in item underscore zero. We're going to say example underscore namespace. We're going to fetch that. When we go to metadata, we can see the category is now animals. Lastly, we want to delete. So I'm going to delete this item now. So we're going to head over to delete. We're going to type in the name of the vector ID, which is item zero, the name of the namespace, which is example underscore namespace. We're going to hit delete. That should have deleted. So now when we go back to fetch, we're going to go to item underscore zero namespace example underscore namespace hit fetch and you can see nothing comes up because it doesn't exist anymore and just to show you what happens if we do item underscore one example underscore namespace hit fetch we can see that we do have data inside our index inside our namespace but we have just deleted item zero. This was a very quick overview into Pinecone and the Pinecone console, how to use Pinecone. In later tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use OpenAI's embedding model. I'm going to show you how to make these requests outside of Pinecone, and I'm going to show you how to put this into an actual application. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section or reach out to me on social media. Don't forget to like, comment and follow.